Hi everyone, Justin Cates here, and welcome back to another show full of weird stuff. This week we start on Twitter once again, but good stuff, fun stuff. No negativity at all in this case. Doug Bowman from over at VT Scoop had a cool thing. Apparently in PGA Tour 2K21, someone uh, made a course that resembles Virginia Tech's on-campus course, or what's left of it. I remember back before they got rid of half of the course to build the inn at Virginia Tech and some of the other buildings over on that side. Um, it was such a cool course, it was a lot of fun, it was cheap, which is extremely important, especially as an undergrad. Uh, the cool thing is there are still lots of options within town. Um, the hill is awesome, and I'm looking forward to getting back down there and playing the revamped hill. They did a lot of renovations, I followed it online. It looked pretty cool, but I, I haven't been down in a while, at least not to play. Another option down in the Ellet Valley is Blacksburg Country Club which is actually where I learned my current swing. It really hasn't changed all that much in the last 20-some years. Um, I learned from a guy named Steve Prater, who uh, now is the head pro at Reno Country Club, and his dad, Jack Prater, played football for Virginia Tech in the 1950s, including being a member of Virginia Tech's 8 one team under Frank Mosley. That's a weird connection and a useful stat. Here's a shameless plug for myself. If you have connections at the Blacksburg Country Club and want to get me on there sometime, it would be really awesome. I remember every hole, and I remember it being a lot of fun. There's the cool lower half uh, on the one nine, and then you go up the hill pretty aggressively on the other side. It's a really cool course, and uh, I would like to play it again, but it's private. So, Tweet me or give me an email. That plug comes early, and we won't stop until we get on. We can always sneak on, I guess, but who would do that? So with that, let's get to this week's game, starting with Virginia Tech traveling to Wake Forest. The 19th ranked Hokies will take on the Demon Deacons for the seventh time since joining the ACC Conference in 2004. Now for my pick, I took the average scores of all of the games, minus of course that one game. Really threw off the scoring algorithm. So... Taking the remaining games, the average score was Virginia Tech 35, Wake Forest 14, and that's my pick for this week's game down there. Should be fun for the Hokies, but we'll see. Wake Forest does have a good quarterback in Sam Hartman. They've been running the football pretty well. Offense is good. Defense has a few question marks, but we'll see how things shake out Saturday at 3.30. Our ACC Game of the Week comes from North Carolina as well, where the Tar Heels and Wolfpack meet for the first time in a long while. That rivalry should be a lot of fun, and those teams both have a lot to prove. North Carolina trying to rebound from an embarrassing loss to Florida State, and the Wolfpack trying to make do without their new starting quarterback, Devin Leary, now back with Bailey Hockman, who struggled against Virginia Tech but has shown flashes at times. He'll have to manage things in order to pull off the upset. I'm taking the Tar Heels to bounce back here. A lot on the line, and these teams do not like each other even a little bit. So that should be a lot of fun if you're looking for something else to check out Saturday. Another game to keep an eye on, Pittsburgh and Notre Dame. Now They have always kind of had a weird series. Pittsburgh has upset Notre Dame more times than they have any right to. And Pitt has this weird habit of pulling off monumental upsets when they really shouldn't. Now, I think Notre Dame is extremely overrated this season. Number three in the country after not really looking that great for the most part. They have a lot to prove as well, and it'll be fun to watch that game. It always seems like it's an exciting matchup. I'm going to take Notre Dame, but not by a whole lot. Pittsburgh is incompetent, but they have ability. Check out SonsOfSaturday.com, where all of the scribes of Saturday have been in action. Lots of good stuff. Ed Williams kicking off the basketball coverage that season right around the corner. Uh, Brett Smith had a fantastic article, a deep dive on the Virginia Tech defensive line. So check that all out, and check out everyone else's good work. And also check out Localite. It's a cool way to help the small businesses in Blacksburg that you know and love. 
You can give money now, it goes right to the business, and then you get money later to spend at your place of choice. Very cool stuff. Hashtag Save Blacksburg. Really important as we can't visit right now for the most part. We look forward to getting back as soon as we can. All right, plugs over. That's it for this week. Have a great time. All sorts of plugs, man. They don't even pay me to do this. This is just fun. Check out Sons of Saturday. Check out the Bice Squad. Do all the good stuff. ACC football. That was really close to the camera. I feel like Dick Vitale. I'm going crazy here. Have a fun time this weekend. Be safe. Be smart. Wear your masks and enjoy the games.